Hi, everyone. I am Annie Pearson. I am a certified mindful wellness coach. And um, today we are going to talk about um, recognizing and releasing signs of stress in the body. And um, so stress, right? Like it's unavoidable. I am not going to tell you how to manage stress or how to avoid stress or how to decrease your stress. We're just going to learn how to deal with the stress that we have because we can't control what happens outside. We can only control what happens inside. So in a nutshell, stress is your body's way of responding to a threat. And it is an automatic response that we have. It's the fight or flight or stress response. When your body's feel, when you feel threatened, your nervous system um, responds by releasing a flood of hormones, cortisol, adrenaline. It rouses your body, gets you ready for <laughs> action. Sometimes this is good if you are running a race. Um, and when it happens over a long period of time, it turns into chronic stress and that's not super good. So our bodies are equipped to handle stress in small doses, but when that stress becomes chronic or when it becomes long-term having cumulative effects, it can affect your body. It can cause damage to your health, your mood, productivity, relationships, quality of life, um, I'm sure many of us have experienced those kinds of things. And so um, you may have noticed that you can feel the impact of stress on your body. It's in your thoughts, it's in your feelings, in your behavior, but also in your physical body. And so that's what we're gonna work on today. Um, some of the effects that chronic stress can have on your body include headaches, migraines, um, muscle tension, fatigue, you might experience sleep problems, anxiety, just to name a few. And so if you notice that you're having some of these effects and notice that you're having them on your, in your body, that is the first step into um, creating a plan to alleviate that. So um, managing your stress has many health benefits. Uh, a couple of ways just to do that, move your body. Um, someone once told me that our issues are in our tissues and that really resonated with me, right? So we hold stress, we hold trauma that lives in our bodies and um, and when we're gentle and kind with ourselves in our movement, it helps to release some of that. So we're gonna go through a couple of those movements today, um, but then just a couple of other things for you, uh, notes for, for outside of today and, and in your lives, connection with others is really helpful in reducing stress. Um, I think being a part of the modern loss community may be one of those ways that you can stay connected to others, um, engaging your senses, having a healthy diet, getting adequate rest and relaxation. And so at the end of today's um, movement, we'll do um, a little meditation as well. So with no further ado, we'll get started. So wherever you are, find yourself in a nice comfortable position. You can be sitting for this. You can sit on a chair, on a couch. You can lay down whatever feels the most comfortable to you. Um, if you can hear my voice, you're welcome to close your eyes at any time. And you're also welcome to leave them open. The other rule, um, the only rule sort of of mindfulness practice is to do what feels right to your body. So if at any time, any of these movements don't feel good to you, um, back off, do them in a way that is loving and kind to yourself, okay? So starting with the top, many of us suffer from headaches and that can be, or um, that can be the first sign that you're experiencing stress. And sometimes we have headaches because we clench our jaws. You might have 
Um, you might clench or grind your teeth at night. You might just notice that you're um, clenching your jaw, like doing nothing, just like existing, watching TV. Just something really interesting to pay attention to. Just maybe out of out of the blue, just be like, huh, what am I doing with my jaw right now? So we're gonna start by um, taking our fingers and placing them at that joint and where the muscles are right here at our jaw. And you can just start by giving it a little gentle pressure or a massage. Just gently massaging those muscles, noticing if there's any tension. Noticing if that feels good. You can move up a little bit into the ear or down a little bit into the neck. Just focusing on those muscles. And then applying some gentle pressure, open your mouth and close gently. Just notice here how that feels. To open and close while applying gentle pressure. Good, Let's massage that out a little bit to release. And then we're gonna do something called jaw figure eights. So it's like the ice skaters who make the figure eight sign. We're gonna do that with our jaw. So just notice how it kind of makes a little bit of a movement here. So you can again, apply that gentle pressure or just hold gently open and then do your little ice skater figure eight with your jaw. It feels a little weird. But you're just releasing a little bit of the tension in your jaw area. And one more. <laughs> Not the prettiest. All right, good. Just release. See if you notice any difference there. Good. And now just inhale and then open your mouth with a big exhale. <sighs> Good and relax. And just notice. Notice if you can sense a difference in how your jaw feels. Notice if there's any more tension or less tension. Or if you're more or less aware of any tension that was already there. And then we'll do, many of us have, along with that, some tension that we experience in our necks and our shoulders. So we're gonna do some neck rolls and shoulder rolls. Okay, so we'll start by bringing one ear to the side, by your shoulder and up, and then other ear, other shoulder and up. And if it feels good to you, you can do both. Bring your shoulder to your ear, ear to shoulder. You're gonna be feeling a bigger stretch on the other side. So only do as much as feels good. Release. And then other side, shoulder to ear, ear to shoulder. Feeling that release on this side. We'll do a few more adding in the breath. So breathing in, lengthening the neck. Breathing out, ear to shoulder. Nice and slow. Breathing in. Lengthening, breathing out, ear to shoulder. Do one more on each side. Breathing in, lengthening. Breathing out, ear to shoulder. Last one, breathing in, breathing out, ear to shoulder. Letting the other shoulder drop down and release it down. And then bringing your shoulders all the way up, sort of exaggerate the feeling of having your shoulders up to your ears and then back and down. So we'll be creating our shoulder rolls by bringing our shoulders up forward and up, back and down. Good, adding in the breath, breathing in, up, 
Breathing out, back and down, letting that tension just melt away. Up and down. Good, and reverse, breathing in, shoulders up and forward. Breathing out, releasing down and back. Breathing in, up and forward. Breathing out, down and back. If you spend any time at a computer or a desk, this is really good. Just open up your chest. And just the movement, releasing the tension and letting it go. Good, and just release it down. Shake it out a little bit. Other areas that we carry our tension can be our um, our chest and our upper back. And so we're going to do some, I like to call these cactus. Um, oh, I think it's from when I was a kid, I used to draw cactuses, cacti like this. I don't know if they still look like that. I don't know if cactuses really do, but put your arms kind of out like a T or a cactus. And then bring your elbows in to touch or as close as, as much as feels good. And then open up really wide, expanding the chest as much as you can, as much as comfortable. And bring your elbows in. See if you can round the back a little bit, drawing your belly in. Good. Now we'll add in the breath, breathing in, open up, expanding the chest. And breathing out, elbows, hands come in, round the back, draw the belly in. Good. Breathing in, open up. And breathing out, round down. Let's do two more like this. Breathing in, open up. Maybe you want to lift your head to the sky. Breathe it out, let it all go. Last one, breathe in, open up your chest and breathe out, bring it all in and release. <sighs> okay, and just take a moment and notice how you feel right now. Maybe place your hands on your chest. And just see how your muscles are feeling. And you've noticed any difference between how you were feeling before we began and how you're feeling right now. And just breathe into that. And sometimes when we're feeling stressed, another sign is that our breathing becomes restricted and we take shallower breaths. And so if you're noticing that your breath has become shallower or shorter because of the stress, whenever this happens, there's a way to try to elongate the breath. And when we do that, it um, activates your parasympathetic nervous system, which is the rest and digest response. So we're gonna do that now by starting some belly breathing. And so I invite you to place one hand on your belly and one hand on your chest. Just take a moment here and notice which parts of your body move when you breathe. First step in mindfulness is just connecting to yourself in the present moment. We cannot heal what we do not know. 
And so knowing ourselves, it's one of the very first steps to knowing what are the steps we need to take in order to heal. So noticing where your breath goes when you're breathing. Does your chest rise and fall? Can you feel it? What happens if you take a nice deep breath? Can you feel your chest expanding? Notice what that feels like. Good, and now See if you can expand your breath all the way down into your belly. So when you inhale, can you expand your belly so much that it pushes out your hand? When you're in. Feel your hand coming back in as you exhale. Notice what that feels like. For some of us, it may be easier to send the breath down in steps. So maybe you fill your chest and then fill your belly and then release from the belly, release from the chest. And see if you can Allow your exhalation to be maybe close to twice as long as your inhalation. So if you're breathing in for a count of three or four, see if you can breathe out for a count of six or eight. Play with that and see how it feels. Sending the bullet of breath all the way down as if you're filling up a balloon and then letting it all release. Moving on here, if you like, I invite you to close your eyes and really just tune into the sensation of your breath. And we can add in a mantra or a phrase here. As you breathe in, you can say something that feels meaningful or powerful to you, such as, I am whole, or I am love. And as you breathe out, you can say something about letting go. Release the tension in my body.
when your mind starts to wander, let's come back to your breath or your mantra. I am safe. I let go. I am whole. I release the tension in my body. I am love. We'll spend another moment here in this space. Paying attention to our breath. Allowing any tension to release, allowing the stress to melt away. Allowing our breath to fill us with what we need and take away, let go anything that we don't. Another couple of breaths here, and then you can start to let your breath return to its natural pace. If it feels good to you, you can bring both hands to your chest or over your heart. Just notice how you feel right now. if there's anything you'd like to take away from this practice and carry with you the rest of your day. Make a mental note of that. And as you feel ready, you can release your hands and gently let your eyes open and return to the space. Maybe let out an audible sigh. Just one last <sighs> release. And then I like to maybe wiggle my fingers or toes or rub my hands together to awaken my body and bring my senses back to the physical body. Mm. Okay. And there you go. I hope that I hope that this has brought you some peace and given you a tool to take with you to use at any time in your day when you're feeling stress and you'd like to let some of that stress go. Take care of yourself, be well, and have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for being here. Bye.